Hi and welcome back. We are busy discussing sequences and the different styles of questions that they can ask you. Now, when they give you unknowns in a number pattern, let's say I give you the following x plus 1 and then I've given you x minus 1 and then x. And then I tell you Calculate x if the number pattern or if the sequence is geometric. Now, you must read the question carefully. They are telling you that it is geometric. So, you know, as soon as I'm doing geometric, the first rule is the test. The test says term 2 over term 1 is equal to term 3 over term 2. So I'm going to have x minus 1 over x over x plus 1 is going to equal to x over x minus 1. Now we use algebra to solve. You cross multiply. So we have x minus 1 into x minus 1 is equal to x into x plus 1. This stage where we cross multiply is a common error. If you are not familiar with this concept or if you had done something like this where you had immediately cancelled this, then you need to go and look at our video where we had discussed common errors under fractions. Now once you have this, we are going to solve for x using normal trinomials. So we have x squared minus 2x plus 1 is equal to x squared plus x. Now if you make everything equal to 0, we have minus 3x is equal to minus 1. So we have x is equal to 1 over 3. Now, from this step, it is simply solving for x. If you are not familiar with this step, then you have to go to our previous videos and review it and learn it. Solving for x at this stage should be second nature to you and you shouldn't have to go back or refer. Otherwise, you are not ready to be in matric. Right, once you solve for x, they sometimes continue with telling you or by asking you what are the first three terms. Then you have to go back and substitute. So if you substitute a third into x, your first term would be 1 and a third. Your second term would be minus 2 over 3. And your third term will be a third. Okay, now what if the question says calculate x if the sequence is arithmetic. When they use the word arithmetic, we know that term 2 minus term 1 is equal to term 3 minus term 2. Now, you have to know the first one is term 1, second one is term 2, and the third one is term 3. So what are we going to substitute? We're going to take 2x minus 3, Now, at the next step, you must be careful. You see it is minus term 1. But you must put it in brackets because the negative affects the signs. So we would have had 2x minus 3 minus x minus 1 is equal to. Now, what is term 3? 4x. Again, minus because it's a minus we are going to put term 2 in brackets. So we have 2x minus 3. So when you simplify, we have 4x minus 2x plus 3. Can you see how important the negative sign is and what it does to the brackets? The sign changes. Therefore, you must remember to put the brackets. This is the most common mistake we find in this section. 
now all we have to do is simplify so 2x minus x is x minus 3 minus 1 is minus 4 is equal to 4x minus 2x is 2x plus 3 bring your x's to one side so we have 2x minus x is equal to minus 4 minus 3 so our final answer is that x is equal to minus 7 now they want us to calculate x which we have done but to get term 1 term 2 and term 3 all we have to do is we have to substitute back into the original now it says term 1 is x plus 1 so which means we're going to have minus 7 plus 1 which will give us minus 6 term 2 is 2 into minus 7 minus 3 so we have minus 17 and term 3 is 4 into minus 7 which will be minus 28 minus 28 now you got term 1 term 2 term thank three. you for watching